Hi everyone, welcome to 24.2. Uh, I am here in the beautiful uh, center of Switzerland in CrossFit Zug. A uh, very spacious gym, I have to say. Uh, we're going to do the workout together with uh, Sophia, who is uh, much fitter than me. <laughs> but luckily, we have a 300 meter row. And the 300 meter row will be the same for you and me. So maybe I can beat you on that maybe. one. <laughs> maybe. Uh, so, Sophia, what do you think uh, workout wise? Uh, how many rounds? Eight rounds. Eight rounds. Uh, I don't, I'm, I'm not going to beat that, to be honest. I'm, I'm, I'm going for seven rounds. Um, what are we going to do today is uh, we're going to strap on a nurse device. You can see it, bicep and also the quad, also for me. And then afterwards we are going to uh, check together with you guys the physiology and analyze this whole uh, workout to uh, make you understand it a little bit better and to learn from the physiology in CrossFit. Stay tuned and uh, let's get after it. Before we jump into the workout, uh, CrossFit Took actually provided a very nice warm-up, consisting first of an aerobic primer uh, to get the engine going, obviously. Uh, I like that the, the fact that they use uh, first an air bike, six minutes, and then two minutes of row. You can ramp up the intensity. Then an activation of some mobility as well and some movement-specific uh, prep. Then um, you can see here the, the movement-specific prep is just to get yourself accustomed to the movement, but not having the high intensity. And then we go to the specific uh, preparation, two to three rounds of deadlifts, uh, rowing, and also uh, the, the double unders at a pace that you would do actually uh, during the workout. So for example, to warm up your row, um, you would think about your 5K, uh, 7K pace during uh, a normal uh, rowing session. Good. Uh, strategy, I like it. So uh, we discussed this in another video, a live stream, where you want to um, take it easy or relatively easy on the row. If you're good at deadlifts, you can go unbroken or do two quick sets and then uh, try not to trip, obviously, during the double unders. If you struggle with double unders, maybe take the, the deadlifts a little bit easier, maybe take a longer rest and then go, um, let's say, all out or full focus during the double unders because that's where you're going to lose most of the, um, yeah, the energy and all the, yeah, the time, obviously. All right, I'm going to do this warm up now and uh, then I'll jump into the workout. Okay, uh, I have to say I paced it super well. Um, eight rounds I did, and yep. I started two and a half minutes every round. So I was like thinking after a while, if I do keep this, I have eight rounds, and then I had a little bit uh, left to do 90 meters. How many meters. did you say before? Uh, seven rounds yeah. was a good score, so I'm so quite eight happy and a about bit. it. <laughs> it was uh, it was surprisingly okay because the work the, the the movements are not super taxing, and you can keep going. I find. <laughs> yeah. Because maybe I went too slow. That's possible. Maybe. 
Uh, how, how did you go? It was good. Um, exact, exactly nine rounds, but maybe a little bit fast to start. I thought I paced it well at the start, but then after 11 minutes, I was like, woo, yeah, yeah. <laughs> need to take the gas off a bit on the road. So you started a bit, bit too fast. Yeah, I didn't think it was too fast. We started at about two minutes on the yeah. rower. Two um, minutes on the rower, okay. And then dropped down, yeah. dropped down a lot, but I tried to yeah. stay fast on the transitions and the deadlifts. Okay, okay. So, yeah, yeah. Super cool. Yeah, we see this actually in the data, you know. Um, I can show you my graph. So this is from uh, Nils' measurement on the right upper arm. And you see beautifully um, from the start, it goes, it, it starts here and then it goes down slightly with the rower. Obviously, because you pull and you use oxygen during every pull. So it goes down to a certain threshold, which I actually always always kept throughout every round, eight rounds total. And then it desaturated a bit more during uh, the deadlift. That's, I think, because I have an overhand grip. Mm -hmm. And I'm actually, I thought the, the bicep would not be taxed, but actually it is taxed yeah. during. And then it actually uh, came back slightly during, uh, obviously, the, the double unders. There's also some bicep movement, but not so much. Um, there's less fluctuation in my right, uh, left thigh. So that's the thigh muscle, this, what you see here. And there is a um, yeah, desaturation during the, the row, obviously, because you use the lower body mostly, at least hopefully. Uh, it goes down slightly more during the, the deadlifts and as well uh, during the, the double unders, maybe because you jump, and then it comes back every round slightly. But you see, I just kind of keep the, the saturation at the same level throughout the whole. The, all, all the all the rounds. How do you explain finishing and then it goes back up and then it starts decreasing again? Yeah, so because the heart is still pumping, you feel when you jump off the rower, you're like dying, <laughs> yeah. the heart rate is still going super hard, but obviously the muscles are not moving Water, at that yeah. moment. So the, the oxygen delivery at that point is high and the oxygen consumption is not existent or very low. So there's an overshoot indeed, immediate overshoot when you stop working out and then it goes, uh, yeah, it goes down to back to baseline 70%. So that's quite beautiful, the, the physiology of such a workout, you can see it there. Can we have a look at yours? Are you exactly yeah. the same? You said you, you paced a little bit less good than me. Yeah. Um, so here, what do we have? Um, so here, you, we start with the, with the right upper arm as well, you know. And you see, yeah, there's a little bit more fluctuation and it's not that clean as me. Uh, no offense, but that's because, that's women have, because women have a little bit more adipose tissue, certainly yep. at the arms. And then the, the device is not that accurate. Uh, I mean, in, in short time frames. And you see this here, you have a nice desaturation, which kind of goes down throughout the rounds, but there's not that much to see on your bicep. It just desaturates and you cannot compare different, uh, let's say, movements. But it's much, much nicer in your uh, thigh. You told me that you went out quite hard from the beginning. So it you didn't did, feel hard uh, until 10 minutes. Uh, yeah. yeah, so you, 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 you clearly went out uh, quite hard because there's no yeah. recovery during the row yep. uh, or almost no, it just desaturates saturates more and more because your um, uh, oxygen delivery is not keeping up throughout the rounds with the oxygen consumption. Yep. And then you feel like, oh damn, yeah, I went too hard. And you start slowing down on the row. You see these peaks the last couple of rounds, last four rounds actually. And that is because you went to 215, you told yeah, me. Yeah. yeah, that's clear here. Uh, you went to 215 uh, and then you desaturate again during your deadlifts because yep. you go super fast, that's like unbroken, bam, 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 out. Um, and then also the, the double ones, you always did unbroken? I yeah, yeah. yeah, I, I stripped twice, Yeah, yeah so you tried yeah, at least, yeah. yeah. And then at the end, you, you push it the last two rounds and you desaturate even more, so yeah. you really push it at the end, and then look at the... The, the recovery. The flow, yeah. um, so can you show me the... Heart rate. The heart rate, the heart rate is also a very... So that's why heart rate is less interesting, I would say, <laughs> yeah. for such a workout. Look at this, this is just flat line, 195, 196. <laughs> All the time, red zone. I mean, if 18 you, minutes. Yeah, 18 zone. minutes. If you give this to a coach, he says, "Yeah, what can you do with it?" Yeah, you, you went nice in the red zone. You went hard. Well done. But there's not much to understand. Yep. For example, if you would redo this workout, uh, I definitely would. You you should be going slower the first round. Yeah. And I actually think you could uh, be able to do uh, like a couple more I meters. Agree. Yeah, I agree. So I so I for me, if you look at my nears, yeah. it's good. Yeah. It's. Uh, I don't think I can do much better. Maybe it's slightly but not much so i wouldn't have to do a review but you could potentially do a review oh i do not recommend it <laughs> anyone super fun, fun actually a fun workout i was a bit disappointed there was like uh, again 20 minutes but actually super cool workout yeah. well, well programmed i think yeah. and uh we, we had fun we did yeah, decently <laughs> well so uh again thanks uh, crossfit zook for having us uh, we will show you around a little bit in the gym as well during some some b-rolls uh if you ever are around in the center of switzerland 
make sure to, to pass by. It's uh, one of the nicer gyms I've seen, at least in Switzerland. Thanks for staying with us so long. Uh, looking forward to the live stream of 24.3 to give you a little bit more tips. I think there will be some gymnastics, so you don't believe there will be any gymnastics. They will keep it for the a quarters. A little bit. Maybe toast the bar. Push-ups? <laughs> no, push nah, Maybe toast the bar, good point. Yeah, I'll put But no, no muscle-ups, no, right? No, no. You don't think muscle-ups? Unless it's like an ascending. But yeah. then these two have been so low skill that yeah. I don't think... Uh... Let's see. We'll, we'll see. But uh, <laughs> anyway, see you in the next one. Ciao.